Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi my fellow Junebugs, thank you so much for joining me again in this video. So today I wanted to do a video featuring some of my favourite sort of uncommon, rare slash unique um, designer handbags in my collection because I do have a few. This video was inspired by some of my latest purchases which have really made me so so happy. You guys know me, I love the classic like Chanel flaps, I love classic pieces like but once in a blue moon I am really taken aback by some gorgeous unique pieces that I feel like are so beautiful and stunning and you know it's nice to have something that's a little bit different and unique and honestly this video was actually inspired by one of my favourite bags at the moment and that is the Loewe puzzle bag I'm still very very much in love with it and you know it is a piece that as I've mentioned in many of my videos before like you don't see this piece very often and I love that I love that I have something that not everybody has and so I thought in this video I wanted to share some of my other favorite pieces that's in my collection that are not necessarily something that you can find very easily are more seasonal pieces that not everybody might like but I love um, and you know some of the rare pieces that I've found that I've been absolutely loving so if you're interested in this video do keep watching um, but before I do continue I just wanted to say hi to anybody that is new to my channel my name is June I am a doctor by day and I do make YouTube videos in my spare time mainly featuring you know luxury items designer handbags the occasional fashion and makeup videos so if you are interested in those type of videos I would love for you to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos so without further ado let's get on to the bag so you know obviously I've mentioned this one um, this is my Loewe puzzle bag. I do have an unboxing on this for anyone who has not seen it. I purchased this last year, however, I first saw it quite a few years ago, I think two years ago, and it literally took me a year to find it. Honestly, I swear to God, the first person that actually introduced me to Loewe puzzle bags was Lizzie from um, Shot from the Street. I love her blog, and she purchased the black one, a small black one, I think, and um, that was honestly when Loewe was really not that well known I feel like and she was on the money with that bag um, and then I stumbled upon a puzzle like a silver version I absolutely loved it but I really was not sure because at the time I was really preoccupied with buying classic pieces I thought why well, put the money towards like a Loewe puzzle bag I don't know how like timeless it's going to be when I can invest it in Chanel and I'll be more reassured that I can actually retain that money and so I did pass on it and I honestly regretted it ever since um, but then I did finally stumble upon it again albeit at a higher cost and you know a bit more wear and tear but I had to jump on it because I honestly have not seen it on sale again ever since so that is my first bag and sort of the bag that started this video another item that I wanted to share that I do love although I did throw it under the bus in a previous video is actually my Chanel um, rectangular mini in a seasonal version um, I mentioned this as like a worse luxury purchase primarily because I haven't been wearing it but I still love having this in my collection I do think it's so unique and adorable and um, I guess I mentioned it you know for bang for buck I probably you know haven't worn it as much as I hoped I would but I love looking at these honestly it is the most gorgeous iridescent um like color that I have in my collection and it is making me want more iridescent pieces from Chanel so the next time they have like a beautiful iridescent color I'm definitely going to be signing up for one it's just such a shame that when they came out with the 2018 iridescent pink is it 2018 or 2017 Australia did not start stock it and it's just like why wouldn't you it is the most beautiful color but if they ever get it out again I am 100% going to like try and try and get it because iridescent colors from Chanel are just gorgeous now I also do have an unboxing on this as well I will put all of them in the info bar below for you guys if you want a bit more information about price where I purchased it from etc etc I might stick to Chanel because I do have a few pieces that I do love from Chanel. Um, the next item that I wanted to share, and this one is a very recent purchase, is actually this beautiful satin bag. I have not seen this bag um, in many places, honestly, um, and this is like in the champagne beige satin um, single flap. This also has like a rope design on it, um, which is very, very different. And then, you know, obviously it's satin and it's only a single flap. 
Um, I did purchase this for a reasonable price and it's probably one of those pieces that you know you wouldn't invest to sort of have forever but if you wanted something a little bit more fun and unique and different this is honestly the type of bag that you might want to add in your collection I love that it's satin um, I actually wear it like a clutch and I like wearing it casually this is just a beautiful little number and for the price that I got it for I'm really really happy to sort of own it and um, I don't mind if I wear it I don't mind if it gets too worn it's just one of those pieces that I love to have and I've been enjoying wearing and I just think it does look really really cool when you wear it with like a very casual outfit it looks very awesome one of my most infamous Marmite bags that some of you guys really really hate but I actually love is the Chanel CC delivery you guys have not seen this in quite some time but I still love her at one point I had two but obviously I've sold that one uh, so this is from the 2014 or 2000 2015 shopping center collection and this is the CC delivery shopping tote it has this uh, acrylic top handle design there um, and it is a tote um, it's just stuffed at the moment so that it doesn't lose its shape and then it he has the sort of shoulder strap here which is detachable because it's just sort of attached via a toggle on the back it does have one like large Mona Lisa pocket there this is a pocket but I don't like to sort of open and close it because then you end up having creases at the front. This is made in calfskin leather and this is actually in the small size. It does come in a large size also but because of the calfskin it does have some structure but it does wear over time. So the large tends to be a little bit more like crumpled and worn um, this is definitely one of those marmite pieces not everybody loves this you know everybody pretty much has an opinion on this whether they like it or not i personally love it i think it is such a great alternative to a chanel jumbo and i actually love that it's got that two-way design anything that has a top handle and a shoulder option i'm honestly 100% down for and um, yeah I just think it's such a beautiful piece not many people have it I honestly have not seen anybody else like in Brisbane or in Australia own this you just very rarely see it on Instagram and I absolutely love that so pieces like one of my favorite Chanel pieces it's definitely one of my more statement and unique bags in my collection but I personally love it and I cannot see myself ever selling this one. I think that is it for Chanel. I'm gonna move on to some more rather vintage and older pieces. Um, the first one is this Gucci sort of, I don't know what it is, like is it a camera bag, is it a binocular bag, is it a like canteen, I don't even know you guys but it is a vintage Gucci piece that I purchased from Vintage Armour. I absolutely love this bag, granted I've not worn it as much, I've only worn it once but I just love it. Like I love having this in my my collection. It's so so unique and different. I love the shape, the length of it. It is a beautiful piece and I think it is absolutely gorgeous. It's just very simple. It's got one large pocket there um, and there's no sort of other pockets at all. And it does have a shorter strap so um, it actually is very very perfect for me. I think I saw one person on Instagram wear this and that was after researching this bag and looking for more details about this bag but it's certainly not something that I've seen any other influencer or blogger rock so it's really special when you have something that's a little bit different and unique and you know difficult to find and this is definitely one of them I love this one one Louis Vuitton piece that I absolutely adore and I think is a bit unique um, not to my collection I do know like lots of other people do own this but it's definitely one of the more sort of unique bags that not everybody likes and would buy and that is the Louis Vuitton cans bag to me it's such a special little piece I love the look of it I love how it's sort of structured and not like a typical handbag silhouette I just love the vibe and the whole aesthetic of this bag and it's definitely one of those bags that make me feel really really good um, and really special so I just I feel like I had to mention it obviously because it's a new release it's not one of those bags that is super duper rare and you know you can actually put your name on the waitlist for this if you want it but it's definitely not a common bag that you see everywhere and I love that I love that you know I 
I don't walk down the street and I can see like every third person own this bag. So yeah, this is my favourite sort of um, special Louis Vuitton piece in my collection. And then finally, the last bag in my collection that is quintessentially one of like my absolute favourite and like rarest finds. You guys will probably know this if you've been watching my videos for a while and that is my Fendi vintage backpack. I wore this non-stop when I first got it. I think it is such a unique piece. Um, it is a convertible backpack. It is still in amazing condition and the price that I got it for was so so good. So um, it's definitely one of my favorite pieces in my collection. You can rock this now and it honestly looks like a sort of newer piece or like a new release. I love the top handle detail. I love that you can detach the straps um, and then I also love the backpack straps are very short. It's just such a great little piece. I do have a dedicated unboxing on this so I will put a link to this in the info bar below. Also this sort of looks like your typical backpack so it's got the um, S-lock closure there that you can open up and then it does have the um, you know drawstring opening which is quite um, convenient and um, it's good that it has its own stopper so you don't actually have to tie it up um, and then yeah it's got a small pocket at the front just here that you can put some oh that's where my driver's license is i was looking for my driver's license for the longest time thank you um so yeah it's a pretty standard backpack design but i just love how it's small um and it's like convertible and it's just one of those things that like um even though it's vintage it feels like modern still so yeah i love it i love it love it love it and another piece that i don't ever see anybody else own that i absolutely love so that is it you guys those are my favorite sort of unique um different um rare handbags in my collection that i absolutely love obviously because these bags aren't your classic bags they're not going to be to everybody's taste but at the same time that's what i love about them sometimes you just need to get pieces that you like and not everybody loves and going pre love is actually a really great way of finding you know older more unique pieces that not everybody has if you are sick of getting the same thing that everybody's got and you want something a little bit different i would honestly check out like the vintage pre-love market or you can have a look at like seasonal pieces from chanel because a lot of the times they are so so gorgeous at the moment now like as much as i love classics i also do love finding the occasional like special edition piece or you know a piece that i feel like is really special and i really love that i can make work for my lifestyle and that's because i already have a lot of the classic bags that i want to own i feel like if you are starting out probably would suggest buying like the classic pieces first because you know they do go up in price and you sort of just want to get your foundation bags first and then and you can add a few like unique pieces to sort of spice up your collection but anyways you guys hope you enjoyed this um give it a like if you did let me know what is your favorite piece in your collection that is super special to you and you feel like is really unique as always hope you guys are having a wonderful week or weekend and i'll see you guys in my next one bye